this evening, we gather to celebrate the wedding and the marriage of Becca and Sean, two wonderful people destined to be together. It is such a privilege for me to stand up with you at this remarkable and transformational event in your lives, and I thank you. You stand here today with some of your family, and we know that Noah, Sterling, Brandon, and Abby. Abby is here with us today. There's another Abby. There's another Abby that's not here with us today. And we give a shout out to all of them because we know that they're here with us in heart and spirit. This is a special place, this beach, because you have brought something beautiful here. The relationship that so far has brought you together and now will bring you together as husband and wife. Here, you are declaring your marriage. You're pledging to sponsor it, to nurture it, to make it sacred and first in your lives. You met through a mutual acquaintance. Sean was working with this acquaintance's husband. Becca worked with his wife. Becca saw Sean's picture on Facebook and Sean reached out to her. This was in October of 2014, a Halloween treat. You met on Halloween, but there were no costumes involved, no masks, nothing fake, just the two of you driving around and talking, and then you went to a Halloween party. More treat than trick. Sean was 100% in right then. Though hard to pinpoint just one thing about what it was, but Sean knew Becca was the one. In addition, Sean was cute, patient, kind, and had a good sense of humor. Sean, your personality compliments Becca's in ways that are very hard to find. You're from Indiana. Some highlights of the last five years, though, include trips to Miami. That's your happy place. Holidays with family and friends have been central in your shared experience, and you put God first in your lives, and this is an important value that you share. After that, each other, then your relationship with your families. You are on the same page in values and priorities. You are both kind and nurturing. You're a nurse, a very nurturing profession, and you are a supervisor, and that is apparent of a very different sort. You feel like you're the same person in two bodies. Your bond is strong. You moved in together this week because you waited until you were absolutely sure. No questions, no doubts. You are truly best friends, never worrying about judgment or criticism, never disappointing in giving support to one another. The proposal came in stages. Sean asked a few times until Becca finally decided to design a ring and Sean presented it to her in the beginning of March this year. Your hopes and dreams for the future include lots of grandkids and perhaps a retirement in Miami or somewhere similarly warm. By choosing to spend your lives together, you're pledging to share the responsibility of making this union one of equality, understanding, and strength. And you're here to make that promise sacred. And so I ask you, Becca, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hand and your heart in marriage to Sean today? Sean, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hand and your heart in marriage to Becca today? From our scripture we read, Strive for greater gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions and if I hand over my body so that I may boast but do not have love, 
I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It keeps no record of wrongs. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love is eternal. It never ends. I'm going to ask you now to affirm your vows, your sacred promises to each other. Please turn together to one another. As I ask you, Sean, do you, Sean, take Becca to be your beloved wife, to have and to hold, to honor, to treasure, to be by her side in sorrow and in joy, in the good times and in the bad, and to love and cherish her always? Do you promise her this from your heart for all the days of your life? Do you, Becca, take Sean? to be your beloved husband, to have and to hold, to honor, to treasure, to be by his side in sorrow and in joy, in the good times and in the bad, and to love and cherish him always. Do you promise him this from your heart for all the days of your life? We turn now to our sacred sand ceremony in front of you. Sean and Becca, I ask you each to pick up a silver cup and to pour it, in turn, into this glass crystal jar. We see that the sand came here to this beach alone, with its own unique identity. And we see that the sand will take on new identity just by being in proximity to one another. We see that the sand has its own spirit, has its own mind. It organizes itself in the glass crystal jar in a new and artistic way, just by being handled by you. The crystal jar itself is made from sand, sand that somebody had a plan for, sand heated and shaped through time, only through human hands. That is like marriage. Marriage is what you plan for it. Your marriage will be shaped by you. Your marriage will look like exactly what you want it to look like, defining itself day by day with hundreds of little acts, threads that connect your hearts. These threads are born on smiles and kisses and kind deeds and the little sacred events that day by day will bring you together that brought you here this day, that will keep you together forever and ever. Amen. May we have the rings, please. I ask you to hold the rings flat in the palm of your hand. Sean has Becca's ring, Becca has Sean's ring. As we ponder that these rings and their unbroken wholeness are tokens, tokens of your union, tokens of your love. Just as these circles are without end, we know that love is eternal. The rings represent the enduring trust and affection that you bring to each other today and every day hereafter. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by devotion, faithfulness, and an inner spiritual bond. Lord, we ask that you bless these rings. Grant those who wear them always have a deep faith in you and have a deep faith in each other and their marriage. May they always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Sean, I ask you to put Becca's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. I give you this ring in God's name as a symbol of all we have promised and all that we share. You may secure the ring on Becca's finger. I can't even tell you, that always happens. It's something about the beach, right? It's, not. it's something about the beach. Okay.
Becca, I ask you to put Sean's ring on his finger, hold it there and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, my faith in our strength together, and my covenant to learn and grow with you. You may secure the ring on Sean's finger. <laughs> Always. I want to ask you to keep holding hands as we offer this blessing for your marriage. As the sunlight floods the sky, may love always flood your beings. As stars break up the darkness, may you bring new light and life to each other. As the waves lap the shore, may your love be ever moving and full of life. As the wind cools our faces, may you be refreshed by each other's presence. As the tree's roots grow deeper, may your lives always be deep and intertwined. As the palms sway in the wind, may your flexibility bring you strength. As the fish swim unseen, may you always keep mystery in your love. As the sun lights up the sky as it sets, May you light each other's hopes and dreams. What God has willed to be together, let no man tear asunder. Becca and Sean, in the presence of your children, God and the universe as witness, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. I therefore declare your marriage to be valid and binding and pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>